Well, I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Glasgow City and Scotland midfielder Leanne Crichton. Leanne, the government has announced £80,000 worth of funding to try and help the Scotland women's squads prepare from January onwards for uh, the World Cup in 2019. First of all, give us your reaction to that news. Yeah, it's fantastic, Peter. Um, we're absolutely delighted um, with the support of the government. It's not the first time that they've, they've stepped in to support um, our programme. And I think this time it's come round a lot quicker um, than it had done previously. So it's fantastic to get the news as early on uh, after qualification. And uh, the girls are, are absolutely delighted along with Shelley. I mean, I'm not taking anything for granted on this one that you'll be selected. You'll be battling away, trying to make sure that you're in Shelley's plans. But you could be uh, one of the main recipients, I would imagine, of this uh, new investment. Yeah, well, we've seen that. There's there's not too many Scottish-based players um, that have you know been in the squad of late, albeit that has been due to injuries and whatnot. But a lot of the players have, have moved out with Scotland, as, as you'll know that, Peter. Um, so no, definitely delighted to be you know still part of the program and the, the team that's qualified. And the, the ultimate push now is to get to the World Cup. Having that support, you know, financially would be a real incentive, um, not just for myself but for the other players as well. You know, some that, that do work a lot more hours, um, you know, fortunate. I've created a, a business for myself that I can work it around um, my football, but everyone is not in that same boat. So, no, it's fantastic. Um, it'll, it'll be a real push for the squad. Give us an insight into you personally and what it would mean if that funding was in place for you from January onwards. The thing is, Peter, we're already... Um, training and performing within a professional environment. I've spoke to you, you know, numerous times at Glasgow City, you know what the programme's like that uh, we operate under. You know, I also train um, as part of the Institute of Sports. So there's, there's several sessions in a week um, that you're obligated to attend uh, with that as well. With the funding, if anything, it allows you um, the opportunity to do less, <laughs> as ironic as that sounds. It's more about the rest and recovery. Um, it's normally what the Scottish-based players miss out on. Uh, our working days tend to be a lot longer um, than those, you know, perform within a professional environment. So, if anything, for me, it will free up a bit more time just to um, allow the body to recover uh, and focus more on the football and the training aspect. And just finally on that, we all want you to do well at uh, the, the finals themselves, but... How much of a bonus will this be, do you think, to the overall performance preparation and hopefully the performances against other teams when the finals come around? Yeah, I think it will be a, a huge um, leveller for us. We know that most of the other nations um, that you know attend the World Cup, if they don't, you know, they've got close to professional levels within their countries. Most of the players play within that environment. And for us, it, it just puts us on that level pegging with those teams that, you know, we can all train and perform to our best. We'll be able to rest up and, and fully focus on the football without having to think about all those other external factors, you know, that go on in life. A lot of the girls are, you know, are still part of education programmes. I do a bit of studying um, away from it as well. So just to have that time and energy reserved uh, once we get to the World Cup, you know, we'll be able to unleash um, to the same level as all the other teams that will be there.